spotted black. He's going to be pretty well heated up. Spotted black's member of the black snake family. They could be shiny black. Well, this one's actually got some spots on him. Beautiful snake. They hunt at day and during the night. Right. Do you see that? Another coat of paint he would have tagged me. Trying to save your life, young fella. Notice the way he's flattening out like a cobra. Normally, they're pretty shy, non-aggressive, get out of your way real quick. But when they're cornered or confronted, they'll hit, and they'll hit hard. And having black snake venom means you're gonna get gangrene, you're gonna rot. You see, when he launches out at me, flattens his head out, just like a cobra. Just like a cobra does. Wait. These are really wild snakes. They'll eat virtually anything, including other snakes. They've been known to be cannibalistic, feeding on smaller spotted black snakes. Normally the spotted black comes as a black coloration. This is a beautiful color. Look at him with his spots. Gorgeous color. Really pretty. Oh! He's grumpy. Did you see the way he bit that piece of dirt? He'd like to bite me. And you have enough venom to not only cause me gangrene and necrosis, but kill me if I never got medical attention. They're also known as a blue belly black snake. You can see along his belly there how he gets that name blue belly. Beautiful blue. What did you see that? Clip me. Look at the venom on my boot. Check that out. Wow, he's a grumpy snake. Thing with these black snake, with the black snake family is they got a lot of venom. You do not want to get bitten by one because they've got such a big quantity of venom. I wish he understood that I was trying to save his life, but he doesn't. He's got no concept of that. All he knows is that I'm trying to kill him and eat him, and that's not the case at all. We need to get you way back off the road, and with any luck, he's learned a lesson, and he'll never come back on it. There you go, mate. Okay. Now don't come back this way. Uh-uh. Go that way. Get. Get. Oh! <laughs> Get back. He's starting to figure it out now. Wouldn't want to take a hit off the snake right now. That's nice though. Nonetheless, you know, I love my snakes. Even though he wants to kill me, I saved his life. Listen to that. Here we go. Woo, it's a tiger. They've only got a small amount of venom, but it's highly toxic. And apparently, they're one of the more laid back rattler species. Oh, you've got a little head. Hey. You've only got a little head. Sugar. Hey, 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 settle down, mate. Settle down. Settle down, buddy, settle down. You'll settle down in a minute. All I gotta do is avoid getting bitten for the first 20 seconds, and then he'll settle down. Here he goes. Come on now. Hey! You're supposed to be non-aggressive. Have a look at that coloration. He virtually matches his environment perfectly. And those bands, you can see why they call them tiger. Tiger rattlesnakes. He's got a relatively small head for the size of his body. Big, fat body. And they've got great pits. Look at the pits in his head there. Looks like he's got a third set of eyes. What a score. You can imagine he's got to eat smaller prey sizes because he's got that smaller head. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. <laughs> okay, he's starting to settle down now. I know it doesn't look like it, but I'm a firm believer in body posture. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You settling down? Here? You stop rattling? I think now I can take the liberty of moving in a little closer. You've got to imagine I'm a professional. I've been dealing with highly venomous snakes all my life. 
and I'm just staring straight at his head, checking out his demeanor. He settled down, he stopped rattling. And now, and only now, I can demonstrate how beautiful he is and how uninclined he is to strike. Look at that, my hands, my nose, my face, my eyes are all within strike range. He's a pit viper. He could strike back over his own body at least two thirds his body length, which means he could get me right on the eyebrow. Isn't this magnificent? Notice the snake, how it's jiggling up and down. That's my nerves. I am really, really nervous. But I'm a professional. I've never been envenomated by a venomous snake. I take great pride in that. But you can see I'm shaking like a leaf. And this snake is totally unfazed by it. Look at his little rattle there. Beautiful rattle. Perfectly formed. Look at that. There's another species of rattler here, the speckled. They're very hard to tell apart from these tiger rattlers. The only way to tell is those bands and the tail. The speckled's got that coon tail black on white before the buttons. I just really appreciate you letting me do this. Free handle, something no one should ever do. And you can just go back up there. I tell you what, you'll never see anybody else in the entire world able to do this. Oh, beautiful animal. Here we go. Have a look at this. He was stalking, don't bite me. He was stalking an anole, one of those beautiful little iridescent green lizards. This is a rat snake, and it's a colubrid. It's got no venom. It grabs hold, overpowers its prey, and they are really common in these elephant ears. I've been seeing them all the way through, and this one was a little too slow. Mind you, he was stalking an anole. Beautiful animal, glorious. And he's very quiet, pretty quiet. There you go, buddy. Wow, he just carves this stuff up. And straight into the water. The next guy is venomous and too close for comfort. Snake! It's a water moccasin. Oh, he's grumpy. Gonna have to be a bit careful. You're all right, mate. You're all right. Have a look at him. Woo, look at that mouth. Wide open. Hey, hey, you're all right, buddy. He's got his fangs poised. He's grumpy. Hey. He's grumpy, he's really grumpy. Now, thing with the water moccasin is, real short, fat, very common throughout the bayous. Wrangle a bit of a stick here. They're a naturally non-aggressive snake, except it provoked. There we go. Woo, look at him. He's a beauty. Now you can see why they call him the cotton mouth. Wide open, wah! And that's a display of aggression. And this, <coughs> oh, I just swallowed a mosquito. Oh, and that is why they call him the cotton mouth. You can see his body's flat. Body flattening out there flattens right out. And why he's flattening that out is to uh, try and make himself look bigger. Crikey, that was a bit close. Oh, you're all right, buddy. You're all right. Aren't they magnificent animals? He's been feeding on frogs, any rodents, any little rodents he can get hold of. Gorgeous animal. They can even catch their food underwater. These are one of the more potent reptile species throughout this entire area. A little bit easy to stand on. I'll just let him go. See the way his belly's flattened out there? You all right, mate? There you go, mate. Oh, here's a little snapper. Have a look at this. You'd barely be able to see it. The only thing I got to see was a small amount of movement, and this is a baby. Oh, you're all right, buddy. Baby green tree viper. Bite! They bite like all crazy. Come on now, naughty. There he is there. Look at that gorgeous 
emerald green coloration, real arrow shaped head, and they've got huge fangs for the size of their body, really big fangs. And this snake here, he'd put me almost into the mark where I'd just about die, I reckon. Look at that excellent arrow shaped head, quite a big head, big venom glands, they've got a big delivery, and if he sunk them in by crikey, I'd be in a lot of trouble. A big one would kill you. This one would be a yearling, only around about a year old. Now you can see on the end of his tail there, different colour, and he'll actually wiggle that, stick it out and wiggle it, a bit like that, wiggle it up and down, and that'll lure things like little lizards, like a gecko will come in while he's wiggling it, we call that a caudal lure, stick it up like that, wiggle wiggle, looks like a worm, gecko comes in, whack, he'll hit, sink those fangs right into the chest cavity, fill it up full of venom, immobilise, kill it, and then swallow it down, head first. Green tree viper. Sorry it's shaking, but these things make me really, really nervous because they're quick strikers. You can see that S position he's holding there, maintaining, poised in the S position, ready to strike if my fingers get close enough. Okay, mate, you're a little beauty. Okay, here you go. Whoa, 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 steady, mate, steady. Here you go. They're quite an arboreal species. Climb through the trees and on the ground. Where's your mum and dad? While I'm up to my armpits in black snakes, Terry spots a black snake sitting in a tree. Check out this snake. She's beautiful. You're all right, baby. Man, she's. this is the black-headed python. Have a look at where she's been staying. She's probably living in this hollow log. The black-headed seek out hollow logs, rock crevices, thick shrubs. This river system area is perfect for her with this ghost gum. Now she's just had her head out, peeking out, getting a little bit of warmth. It's slightly overcast today, so she'll use that dark, glossy head for picking up any rays of sun to help thermoregulate. She's a little bit cool, remarkably placid. She's not showing any aggression towards me at all, none whatsoever. Now this distinct black head, it looks like she's been dipped into paint, but not only does it help her thermoregulate, she also uses it for hunting. Now she'll poke in and out of the rock crevices both at night and during the day and when it's a little bit dark you can imagine how this black head would camouflage her completely from prey items. Now I'm just gonna put her back in her hollow limb. Here you go. You wanna go back in your log? There's a girl. Choice. This is excellent. That's a girl. Choice. See you later. Thank <laughs> you.